Hello, my name is Ben Parslew and I'm a lecturer in aerospace engineering here at the University of Manchester and I also do research into aerospace engineering. The course that I teach is called Aerospace Group Design and it gives students the chance to design, build and test fly their own aircraft. So we start by giving the students the chance to do basic indoor flight testing on some of their early designs and later they work on these and improve them, come up with better designs and then we take them outdoors for full scale flight testing. So as well as teaching I also do research and that can be working with companies to develop new technologies, new engineering products or it can be doing research that's funded by governments or other organisations or it can be just doing things I'm interested that I think would be good to look into. And you'll find that most if not all of your lecturers when you're at university will do research when they're not teaching you and those things they research get fed into the lectures that they deliver to you. One of the things I've been researching is how to use machine learning with robotics. So that's how we can get robots to learn for themselves how to move, how to walk through different environments, how to crawl, how to jump. What you can see in these videos is a Unity system where the robots are using neural networks to learn how to move for themselves. And we can apply the same approach to different types of movements, even movement underwater, learning how to dive and swim and propel themselves underwater. We can even use it for flight. So getting different types of robots or different types of animals in simulation to learn for themselves how to fly. What you can see in this video is, a, is a, an image of a bird and the movement of the bird is not something we've given to the simulation, something's actually learned for itself and that's all through machine learning. At the more applied end of my research, I've been looking at the aerodynamics of trucks and freight vehicles. Now the idea here is whether we can rethink the design of these large freight vehicles that we see on our roads. The benefits of doing that are that we reduce the drag on the truck, that reduces the amount of fuel that's consumed, and that also reduces the amount of harmful emissions to the atmosphere. And the most recent research project I've been working on is actually in the space sector. And this has been going on for around two years now. And I've been working to try and design rovers that will actually be used to explore lunar environments. And this is a collaborative project with other staff members and other researchers here at the University of Manchester. And we're trying to design a bespoke type of rover that will be used for exploring lunar surfaces through alternative modes of locomotion. Now what that means is rather than rolling on wheels as the Martian rovers do, these rovers would actually be jumping devices that would propel themselves from the ground above the surface of the moon and then land, so periodically hopping around the lunar surface. We found that that's a much more efficient way to move around the moon and also the parts tend to degrade much much less than when you use a rolling rover. So my background is in aerospace engineering. I did my undergraduate in aerospace quite a long time ago. And then after I did my undergraduate degree, I changed for my masters and went on to study mathematics, applied maths, still here at Manchester. Uh, and after I did that, I decided I wanted to be a school teacher and I worked in schools for a few years. And then I felt like I was really missing research and development work. So that's when I moved back to university to do a PhD and do more engineering research. After doing that, I did a project with BAE Systems, designing a UAV. And then finally I moved into lecturing. So you can see that I didn't really have a very straight path to where I am at the moment. Um, I tried out a lot of different things to try and decide what I wanted to do. And I imagine I'll try out some more different things in the future. The same with my research. It hasn't really been in one particular field. I've jumped around between a few different fields. I think that's okay. It's fine to try out lots and lots of different things and have a bit of breadth in what you do. And I would say that's something to think about when you're choosing your degree. 
Um, it's very rare that we meet people who are really sure about what they want to do in their degrees and in their futures. Usually people are thinking between two or three different choices for their degrees, and that's fine. When I was choosing mine, I really couldn't decide whether to study maths or physics or engineering. And in the end, I can't even remember what made me choose engineering. But I don't think it matters too much. You choose something for your degree that you find interesting, but there's always other things you can do later. Plenty of engineers finish their degree and do something different. Plenty of mathematicians move into engineering. So don't feel that the degree that you're choosing now is something that sets you in one field for the rest of your life. Even between different disciplines within engineering, if you're choosing between mechanical and aerospace, mechanical engineers very, very often get jobs in the aerospace sector. And similarly, lots of aerospace engineers go on to become mechanical engineers. So I know that decision is quite hard for your degree, but I would say just choose something that you find quite interesting for now. That's a good enough decision, and there'll be lots of other things you can try out later. It worked fine for me, and I think it will work fine for you too.